This week we're going to be learning about subqueries, and I've already gone ahead and created a week 5 subqueries.sql file and saved it. Um, and I'm going to start with the Internet Movie Database, so use IMDB. And I'm just going to jump in with an example. So the basic idea of subqueries is anywhere in your SQL select statement and other statements as well, but we're mainly going to be focusing on select today. Um, anywhere where you have an expression that has a value, for example, you're comparing a column value to some number, or you're seeing if a column value is in a set of values, or a table, um, you can also put a subquery that returns one of those values. And uh, so you basically have a select statement inside your select statement. And you can nest those, and you can have multiples on the same level, and so on. Um, so I'm going to start with an example. Let's say, for example, that I want to know all of the actors who have worked with David Lynch. And so I want to find shows that David Lynch directed, and then find the actors in those shows. And on the front end, I want to take the name David Lynch, and I want to look up um, the end const for David Lynch. And then I want to find the shows from the title directors table where um, that end const matches, and that'll give me t consts for shows. Then I can look in title principles, find people who are actors or actresses on those shows. And then I can look in name basics again to find the names of those people. And that's going to give me a list of actors and actresses who worked with worked on shows that David Lynch directed. So let's start with looking up David Lynch. So that's going to be in name basics. Select star from name basics where primary name is David Lynch. Oh, and I have to use IMDB and then execute this query. Okay, so these are all people named David Lynch, and I see that there's a bunch of them. So which one do I actually want? Well, the David Lynch I want is still alive, um, and I'm going to guess that he's probably this one right here. But in order to figure out which one I want, let's go ahead and say the David Lynch I want is actually one of the directors of the movie um, eraser head. And so I'm going to select star from title basics where primary title is eraser head. And that's going to give me a T const. So this is the movie eraser head. And I want to find the David Lynch, who was a title director on this T const. So let's look in select star from title directors, where T const is equal to TT0074486. And I'm going to put a little comment there. Eraser head. Put a semicolon. And I see there's only one director listed for eraser head, which is 0000186. And if I re-execute this query, I see that there is 0000186. So this is, in fact, the right David Lynch. So I'm going to go ahead and add a comment here. Returns NM0000186. So now I know David Lynch, and I know a movie that David Lynch directed, but... What I want to do is find all of the movies that David Lynch directed. So that's going to be select 
star from title directors where nconst equals nm0000186. So here are all the movies that David Lynch directed. It actually shows this includes episodes of his series Twin Peaks, and he worked on a different series as well. So, um, so not all of these are movies. And then I want to find all of the actors on all of these movies. So if I wanted to write a SQL statement for that, it would look like select star from title principles where tconst in, and then I'm going to put a set of all of the shows that I want the person to have been in. So TT0060984. And TT0062653. And TT0065798. And I'll just do one more because life is short. So TT0064486. So this is the first four shows that David Lynch worked on, and if I had time, I'd go through and do all 90 of them. But this is enough for now. So here are all of the title principles for David Lynch shows. And then I just want actors and actresses. So, and category in, and I'll just do actor and actress. Okay, so here are a bunch of N consts for peoples, people who were in David Lynch films. And if I want to look up the names for those people, select star from name basics, where N consts in NM0528424. And NM0569355. And NM0925370. And I'll just do one more again. NM0537973. Okay, so here are some actors and actresses from David Lynch films. Peggy Lynch, Virginia Maitland, and so on. So none of this is used subquery so far, but it shows the thread. And uh, this is what I had to do to look up those names. So I started with the movie Eraserhead and got the director from that. And then I used the director's name and const in order to verify that there was a David Lynch with that name and ultimately ended up with this one. So let's refine this a little bit because I only want to get that value coming back. So I'm going to do just the one that was born in 1946. And if I wanted to be specify, uh, specific, and death year is null. So I want the director named David Lynch, who was born in 1946, who is still alive. There. And I want his nconst. I don't really care about the rest of this, so I'm just going to do nconst. Okay, so here's a query that gets the nconst for David Lynch that I want. I don't need this one anymore. Here's the thing that looks up the shows that 
the person with this nconst directed. And you'll see that this thing right here, this is just a value. And anytime where you have a value or expression that returns a value, you can also have a subquery. So here's a sub here's a query that returns that value, and here's the same value. If I want to replace this thing with a subquery, I just put two parentheses here, and then the subquery goes right inside of there. So like so. And then I copy that, and I paste it inside the parentheses, and I tab it over one just so that it easier to see in there. So now I have a query and I have to get rid of that there. So now I have a SQL statement inside my SQL statement and this thing is returning an nconst value and this thing is matching an nconst value. So let's go ahead and execute it. And that should be the same list of films as I had before. So if I scroll down a little bit to this next one, I see before I was getting 60984 and 62653 and 65794 74486. So it's the same list of things coming back, even though I have this as a subquery now instead of as a hard coded constant value. So on this one, I'm returning a single value here. And if I want to emphasize that, select top one end const. This is returning a single value, and I'm saying this single value is equal to that single value. Here, using n, I'm returning a set of values. And you'll notice that this thing, if I change this here, tconst, only take tconst coming back out. So here is a set of values in a column, and here is a set of values as a set. So I can replace a single value with a SQL statement that returns a single value. I can return replace a set of values like that with a SQL statement that returns a column with a set of values. So this whole thing now, let's go ahead and cut that out and then paste in our expression from before and tab that over. So now this whole thing is a subquery that returns a set of values and then the outer query is matching that. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. And we get the same result. So tconst, so if we look at the nconst here, 528424, that matches this, and then 569355, 9253705379735. So same set of values coming back. Now you'll notice that this thing here, once again, it has a set of values, nconsts. And so if I change this to just return nconst, now, I have a query that returns a set of values. And here I have a query that takes a set of values. So I can do the same thing once again. So I copy that whole query. I go here, I paste in the subquery. And then I tab everything over so that it's still readable. Actually, let me, where am I? Okay, so this outermost one here goes with that one there. Okay, and let me move this down a little bit so we can see the whole thing. So that's what the whole thing looks like. So I have an outermost query and then a subquery inside that, subquery inside that, and so on.
And here are all of the actors that have worked on David Lynch films. Now, this may seem a little more complicated than just writing a join. I mean, the join itself is not so easy because I have to start with um, name basics and then join with uh, title directors and then join with title principles and join with name basics. Um, so it's basically the same logic as I have in the series of subqueries, um, but it is probably more straightforward to write this as a join. But there are some queries that uh, you just can't write just using joins, and we'll see a few examples. Um, and then also, depending on how your brain works, the logic of moving from one table to another table to another table as subqueries might actually make more sense to you than the logic of joining tables together into bigger tables and then filtering the whole thing. Um, I usually find that there are some combinations um, can be useful. Uh, particularly when you're working with stuff in the Internet Movie Database.